Hello everyone, welcome back to the Automated Income Channel. Today I'm live trading the Micro S&P 500 using the Automated Income Channel's uh, automatic trading system that we build in uh, using TradeStation as a platform. Uh, I've been trading this this future market uh, since October 1st, and I started with $4,000. Uh, and today I'm gonna give you an update on the fifth month of trading. So it's been five months since I started trading this is micro S&P futures market um, and it's been, it's been great. So today I'm gonna give you the results and the changes that, I, that I've done to the algorithm. Uh, some improvements, but the overall, the overall concept of the algorithm is still pretty much the same. Um, as you can see here, uh, well, the S&P is breaking new all-time highs. I think today's, uh, uh, fr today's Friday the 1st, March the 1st, 2024, it's just broke another record, another 52 week high. So this is an all time high for the micro S&P. Um, and you can see here it's live trading with six uh, contracts, six contracts. Each contract uh, require, requires a minimum maintenance, an overnight maintenance if you leave it you know, overnight of uh, $12.98. So $1,298 per contract. Um, and you can see one of the things that I've done uh, throughout the, the fifth month of trading is I added this log. I'm going to show you here in a minute. Here, let me bring it back to this screen. Uh, here it is. All right, so what I do is now the algorithm, every, every time it trades, it triggers a signal and it records the, the specific position, right? So you can, you can see here the log, the automatic log uh, on 229. So yesterday at 9, 9.16 a.m., it says enter position long at market. Everything's on market uh, market orders. Price 1596. That was yesterday. Contract six. Targets calculated, and it gives you exactly how many targets the algorithm is gonna is gonna give you. It's gonna uh, estimate right, and when it's gonna sell the position. So target one it was 5114. 50, target two 5134. Target three 5160. And target four 5185. With 94, the stop loss is also calculated at the point of entry, right? So we can, you can, and you can tweak the amount of risk you want to take. In this algorithm, the stop loss was placed at 50, 5073 because the enterprise was 5096. And if we check the, the parameters here, let's see, edit strategy, customize, the percent loss long is at 0 0.45. So minimum amount that I'm willing to risk on each entry is 0.45% of the price movement. That's all. I mean, I tested this uh, using 20 years of data and I found out that that's the most uh, optimal price uh, that I'm willing to, to, to risk, right, for each trade. Anyway, so let's go back to the, uh, to the log here. So, and then the, it gives you the estimated profit per target, right? So if, if I were to hit target one, we'll have made $178. Target two, 382. Target three, uh, 318. And target four, 445. Just with six contracts. And remember, six contracts, again, you need a minimum maintenance of 12, $1,298. Uh, $1, so the estimated total profit, now the algorithm gives you that, that, uh, low, that estimation as well. It's just an estimation because then it's all market orders, but it's pretty pretty close. Will be if we were to hit those four targets, it will be 1325. So 1325 for that uh, specific entry. Now what happened? All right, so March 1st, today at two, this is uh, the time, 204. So 204, so this is 2 a.m., 204 Eastern time. First target was hit. First target was hit, price 5113, remember, Entry price was uh, 1596, and the estimated T1 or target one was 5114. Well, pretty close, right? It hit the target at 5113 at the market, 0.50, with selling two contracts, two contracts, um, which is which is pretty good. And then what happens is, well, the stop loss, which was originally at 5073, gets raised, right? As soon as the first target is hit, then we, we raise a stop loss of, so if the market goes against that, we are protecting, at least we made, we made, we sold two contracts, we made profit on two contracts out of the six, right? So that's exactly what happened, right? A 
at 5.20 a.m. first stop trigger exit position entirely at market and the price was 15.97 uh, which is pretty close to the entry price you see here the entry price was 15.96 right there I hate when it does this all right right there 15.96 um, so exit at market at 1597.75 with the remaining four contracts here, right? Four contracts remaining. And that's exactly what happened here. You can see at 2 a.m. here, uh, let me see long, is that, is that, yeah, 2 a.m. Uh, it went, in, went here and then first target was hit and then the, the stop loss went been raised right it was raised to pretty much close you know close to the to the entry point and then uh, market went against us it went down and then it, it hit the first stop um, now from there uh, market seems to recover today you know it recovered recover and then it triggered a long and the long was triggered due to the fact that you know the the fast moving average here is, is still uh, above the slow moving average, the blue lines, right? Uh, so it's still above. And then my automatic income channel rate of change 2.0, which is a combination of, of uh, different uh, variables here and indicators, uh, it triggered here in this color, it triggered a long position above the threshold, which is 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.07, it triggered a uh, momentum that, that you know that this means that the momentum is high and the probability is high for a long uh, position to be taken because given the probability of the 20 years of data it means that probably the market is going to keep going higher so that's what this indicator is and it triggered that long and it, it kept going up now another change that i made to the algorithm uh, <clears throat> it's really difficult or I, I couldn't find a way of writing um, lines from a strategy. For some reason, TradeStation does not allow uh, lines to be, or plots, right? To be drawn from the strategy itself. So what I did is I created a, a file. Let's, let's see if I can show you. File, it's called target file. And this target file records <clears throat> the first target price and the stop loss, right? And it keeps recording that and uh, and now the I created an indicator, but the indicator is a show me. Let me show you. Edit studies here. Uh, it's an indicator that I created. It's called uh, AIC New Targets. And what it does is it reads from this TXT file two values. One is the target one in green, and the other one is the stop. So you always have as soon as you know a a order is triggered. The file gets those two values and the strategy keeps, this indicator, I'm sorry, keeps plotting the line here, the first target line. So you always have that kind of visual, right? Solicitation of where your price is uh, in relation to your target, your next target and the stop loss. Now, what could happen is, let's say uh, first target is hit. Let's say if we get close, we're getting close right now. Look, look, uh, we're at 397, we're getting close. The the first target here is at 51.36 and if you see the log report see the, four, the, the log report here first target it's saying yep it's gonna be at 51.36 and that value gets recorded in that txt file and look at this this is being plotted here so now we have that visual we're getting close now as soon as this target gets hit then the stop loss gets uh, raised to the entry point, that's the first uh, value of, um, of a stop loss, right? The entry point, so this is gonna get raised here. So what's gonna happen is the TXT file is gonna get new values and the indicator is gonna read those two new values and it's gonna probably keep, it's gonna plot a line, a red line here, around here, the, the entry point, right, around here. Now what's gonna happen is now we're gonna have a second target, so the, the second target is gonna be used from the log file here second target so if second target is 51 57 perfect so probably around 51 57 around here 51 57 here is going to be another green line so now you'll see those two visuals you're going to see a new green line here and you're going to see the stop loss being raised at the at the entry point 
All right, we're getting really close to hitting our first target. If we, we were to hit the first target, uh, we, we're gonna be making, let's see again. Uh, where is it here? The first target, 178 with two, let's see, with two contracts. Let's double check. And you can always change the, the profile of the targets, right? Customize. Uh, let's see, batch one, two contracts, batch, so total is six, trade size. Batch one is two contracts I'm gonna be selling, batch two, two contracts, by three and four, one contract each. This is higher risk or, you know, I think it's harder, right, to, to hit up a, a, third, a third target or even the fourth target, right? But those are the most profitable ones. Uh, and that's how you, uh, I, I kind of uh, customize the, the targets uh, profile, right? Uh, all right, so let's review how much I made since October 1st. Let's go back to, uh, give me one second here. All right, here it is. So real-time ac account equity is 88.15, so 8,823. Let's call that, we started with um, 4,000, so let's make quick numbers here. Um, 84.48 uh, minus 4,000 that we started with. And you can check that on my, on my first video. Uh, so divided by 4,000. So we are at, uh, here it is. 111%. We made 111% of the initial capital in four months. Now, that involved me increasing the size, the contract size of the trading, right? The, the, the number of contracts we started with trading with two. Then, as you know, as, as we made more money, we started with three, four, five, and now we're up to six. Um, so, 111% in five months. Well, we're, we're pretty close to hit our first target. Uh, Almost hit it there when it reached 51.35. Anyway, let's run a quick 10-year uh, view of the strategy. Let's see. We run there. It is. So when this is a 10-year, um, if we were to use those six contracts for 10 years, we we'll have made 70 k. I mean, yeah, 70 grand, 70 thousand dollars. So see, close to there is actually 67, 697. That, that if we were to use this strategy over 10 years, right? Um, if you see, these are the returns. Uh, so in the last 12 months, we would, we we're gonna make, or we would have made 14,000 and then 7,000. Uh, no, that's uh, 2024. 2023, 4,000. 2022, 2,000. 2021 was a good year, 8,000. 2020, 20,000 and so on. Returns are around 69%, as you can see here, uh, the percent of uh, prof profitable um, uh, trades, right? So 69%. All right, and let's see if we can hit that target. Uh, let's give it a couple of uh, minutes here. So what's gonna happen is if we reach that target, then um, the algorithm triggers a sell position uh, on the following uh, open of the following uh, bar, right? So most probably here, let's see if we can get here. Uh, as soon as this closes above 51.36, then the following, uh, so each one, each of these bar is four minutes, right? So we still need to wait a few minutes. Uh, we'll see if we can reach here. Uh, then if it closes above that line, then on the following, opening of the following bar, then it, it, it triggers a market, a sell position at market, and then we would profit on the first target, right? Which is two contracts, there it is, it's almost there. And here I can see here, you can see that the, the rate of change uh, indicator, uh, it changed colors again. So that means that, you know, if we were not in this position, it would have triggered another long position. So this is good. This is, we still, we have a lot of momentum in this, in this movement, right? Uh, again, you know, the first, the first time it triggered here uh, at 1028, that's when it triggered the long, even the momentum here, 10 blue, uh, above the threshold, which is 0 0.07. 
then trigger the long, and now it's triggering another long here, but we are already in the position, so it's not gonna trigger another another long, right? It's just gonna wait to, to hit this target. So I'm gonna let it let it uh, continue trading and see if we can hit that tra target. It seems that we broke that level here. 36.59 is the level. Let's double check what the log says here. We need to break 36.67. That's that's the number. 36.67. So 51.36.67. I think we broke it. So now the candle is about to close. Let's wait for the opening of the following one. It's gonna be done in like three seconds. Let's let's wait a couple of seconds here. See, order, yeah. order field. There you have. That's the. That's what we wanted. First target hit. All right. So now what happened? Couple of things, right? First the log. Let's let's double check the log. Okay, here it is. See a new entry in the log. First target hit. Price fifty one thirty six. Contracts two. So we just sold two contracts out of the six, right? So we made approximately we made one hundred and eighty dollars here in the first target. We'll double check that in a second. Um, now. Another thing happened, right? The next target now is 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 in place, right? So the next target here, you see these green dots now that are being displayed here on the next target, which is 51, around 51, 57, right? And the stop now, which was here, this red line, that was the stop, now it got raised to the entry price, close to the entry price here, which is 51.19 here. So that's that's how the improvements on on the on the latest version that I did, right? I have these visuals now that it tells me. So if this were to keep uh, increasing, we're gonna hit the second target here at that level where the green dots are. And if the market goes against us, we will set this net these long positions here. There are remaining four contracts in the in the trade, so we will sell those uh, on either side, either second target or at stop here uh, with the red dots here in the green race. All right, let's double check how much we made in that that latest trade. This is a 10 year, give me one second, all right. Trade list, let's go to the very last position. All right, $180, so exactly what we calculated, estimated, right? The algorithm estimated. At market, we made, we exit the first target with $180. Um, so, yeah, so this is pretty much, you know, how the the algo is going. I'm really happy with the performance. We're gonna wait now. Uh, it's Friday, so the market's gonna get close. Um, oh, I, I'm gonna wait to see if Monday we can hit this, or this afternoon we can hit the second target. If not, we'll we'll exit out here, and we'll have made just $180, which is which is fine. Uh, uh, we always you always wanna protect that capital, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this live trading session. And if you have any questions uh, regarding the automated income channels trading algorithm in TradeStation, let me know. I'm happy to, to give you my point of view or my assistance uh, trying to develop your own algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.